was a big and bold night for fashion on the red carpet at the 2014 Billboard Music Awards, and we're breaking down the best and worst looks for you on this episode of Dirty Laundry. What's up, I'm Erin Robinson. And I'm Jocelyn Davis, and this is Clever's exclusive Trophy Life coverage from this year's award show season. Yeah. So what do you say, let's just jump right in here with one of my favorite looks from the night, Carrie Underwood, Ugh. this girl was stunning in this neon yellow Oriette Dominic gown. It featured this really intricate silver bodice detail that I cannot get enough of. I don't no. think she's ever looked better. Ugh. Carrie decided to go with a classic up elegant do to show off her Le Zen earrings that went perfectly with all of the details on the dress. Her makeup, as usual, looked divine, and I love the smoky eye and pink lipstick. Erin, what did you think about this look? Oh, this is definitely a clever yeah. fade. This is right on trend. Let me be clear. This was absolutely a bold choice for her. I mean, it could have gone great or it could have gone really poorly. Mm -hmm. But her stylist is a genius. She knows how to dress this woman. She looked so gorgeous. I love that the dress was the statement piece. As per usual, Carrie knocked this out of the park. What do you think, Rosalind? Clever or not clever? This was so clever. Yeah. Like I said, I do not think I have ever seen her look better. Two thumbs up, Carrie yeah, Underwood. Gorgeous. Definitely, definitely. Now, from one songstress to another, next up is Shakira. Ooh. Yeah, Shakira. She looks super sexy in this metallic blue long sleeve cocktail dress that was hugging her fabulous curves. Those hips do not lie for sure. Oh, no, they don't. Uh -uh. The big standout feature of this dress, though, is the sheer side paneling that shows off some serious skin, which reveals just enough to give you that sex appeal that she obviously packs, oh, but yes. not too much to be inappropriate, in my opinion. So, Jocelyn, what do you think? Clever or not clever? Well, for me, this was definitely a clever look. Yeah! It's hard to believe she just had a baby. I mean, she looks flawless and you are right those hips don't lie they only speak the truth <laughs> clever for me what about you uh it's clever for me yeah. i think she looks gorgeous i do kind of wish she did something a little bit different with her hair i think it's a little too much with the long sleeves mm, but i do okay. think the dress was gorgeous on her she looked fabulous love her mm -hmm. all right moving on to another head turner of the night everybody is talking about this girl and her look it's Nicki minaj uh -huh. Nicki showed up in a very revealing black alexander mcqueen gown and i can't help but notice how much cleavage we're getting. We're getting some on the top, we're getting some on uh -huh, the bottom, if uh -huh. that's possible. But I mean, hey, if you have got it, flaunt it, right? Right, right? I love it. Her hair and makeup looked great, very natural, which is something that we're not necessarily used to seeing from Nicki Minaj at these huge music events. And she had some cool gold cuffs and earrings. I don't know how to feel about this. I love the dress, I love the idea behind it. I love that she went for a simple look with her hair and makeup. Uh -huh. But I was just kind of worried, like, oh my gosh, you're Wards gonna lose one of the girls. Oh, yeah. so for me, I'm gonna say not clever. What about you? Uh, I think it was almost there. I agree with you. I think I liked where she wanted to go, but I think it's just one too many cutouts for me, in my opinion. I feel like also too black seemed a little bit boring for Nicki Minaj. I was hoping that she'd step out in some bold color, but it was just kind of like meh for me. And she was giving us a lot of serious face yes. on the red carpet. I don't know if you noticed or not. Mm -hmm. She almost looked like she was not happy to be there. So maybe it was the fact that she looked upset paired with all that extra cleavage that made me <laughs> feel like this wasn't so much a clever look for me. Not well, clever. she is an actress now, so maybe she was channeling um, something new. A mature, more mature look. I don't know, but she's a babe, so. She, I love her regardless yes. of what she wears. Okay, next up are the Jenner beauties, Kendall and Kylie, of course. Wow. Now, both of the girls, they showed up together, they looked hot, and they were channeling some serious rock star inspiration, in my opinion. Kylie was rocking a brand new look. I don't know if you noticed, the teal hair, which I is love so it. on trend right now. So many stars are doing this colored look for the summer, and it really stood out against her very sexy all white dress, very, very sexy. And then of course there was Kendall, whose style kind of reminded me of Victoria Beckham a Ooh, little bit to me. Yeah, yeah she was that. sporting some midnight blue metallic leather type of pants and she looked hot and like a gorgeous supermodel. Um, and I love the top was youthful and very sexy. It didn't show too much, but I just, I, the side boob, all, I, I thought she looked amazing. Yeah, what so, you, what I you? mean, I'm always game for a little SB. I think it's a fun way <laughs> to show off your assets, and she is 18, so she can go for a sexier look. Sure. 
I loved this. I thought this, personally for me, was the best look on the carpet. Really? She stole the show. So clever for me, very, very clever, yeah. because it was different. Yeah, it was. It was definitely, pants, are, we didn't see any of that anywhere mm -hmm. else. So what about for her. you? For me, clever, for sure. I liked both their looks. You go, girl. Yeah. Okay, so Erin, let's face it, no dirty laundry episode would be complete without <laughs> the goddess from above. I can barely say her name. It is J-Lo. Yes. I mean, this woman, I have oh. no words. So our girl, because that's what we're going to say, our girl from the block, Jennifer <laughs> Lopez, was all kinds of sexy on the red carpet in this gorgeous red Donna Karen gown. Oh. It looks like it's a bodysuit with some sort of red draping on top, and I can't help but think that this looks so similar to Jen's iconic green Versace dress that oh, she wore yes. to the Grammys several years ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the dress that put her on the map. Fashion, fashion-wise, mm -hmm. for sure. What do you think about this look? Oh, I love it. It's so sexy and it just makes me want to be JLo when I grow up. And the thing I love about it is it's it's sexy but it's not too much. Mm -hmm. She does a great job of walking the line of sex appeal. She is an, a, an older woman. She's 44 years old. I, I can't wait to grow up and be like JLo. Oh I my really goodness. can't. So, That's why I'm wearing this dress right now. Yeah. And I think you pointed out earlier her hairstyle. Mm, yes. It's definitely channeling some Ariana Grande with that mm -hmm. look tonight. So yeah, I think she looked beautiful, amazing, glamorous, and she is, like you said, a goddess. I mean, do we even need to say, obviously this look was yeah! clever. She killed it. Now next up is another performer who I think was trying to pull off Jin's red sexy look, and that is Iggy Azalea. Iggy showed up to the carpet wearing this long burgundy, long sleeve laced Zuhair Murad gown, and to me, it kind of looks like a more matronly, like older mm. 40s look for a woman. And Iggy's only 22 years old, so pretty much covered all of her body. And it only gave us a little sex appeal in the sheer top. I'm not a huge fan of mm -hmm. this look on her. Uh, what do you think, clever or not clever? Well, for me, this is not clever, Aww. only because I feel like her dress, that, or her look, her two-piece look that she wore on stage for her performance totally outshines this look. It's so much more fun and youthful, and it gives us what we want from Iggy, which is a lot of personality yeah, and a little, a little booty action, uh -huh. because, you know, she has this booty that everybody's talking about, in yeah. case you haven't heard. Um, so for me, not clever. Not I don't know. clever for me either. I love Iggy Iggy though she's so fancy all right last but not least is everyone's favorite pretty little liars star lucy hale mm -hmm. lucy was so pretty in this blue yellow and pink number which fit her body like a glove and i love that she paired the outfit with these really simple navy blue sandals and her side swept ombre hair was the best part of this look for me in my mm -hmm. opinion what did you think um i agree i think she looked glamorous i think she looked gorgeous um, her hair and makeup was my favorite part of this, mm -hmm. but I was hoping for a, something a little bit more daring. I felt like this was a little safe. You know, it's the Billboard Music Awards. This is your time to show up and do something fun with your style, and she's young. And I just was expecting a little bit more, but because she didn't take a risk for me, I'm going to say not clever. Even though it hurts me to say because I do love her, but I don't think the dress was the best look. Well, I'm gonna balance things out here. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this look for me was clever. I loved the yeah. color blocking with the blue, yellow, and pink. I thought it was fun and flirty and feminine. And okay. again, what I love most about this look is her hairstyle and the mm -hmm. fact that we can actually see that pretty smile. Nothing worse than covering your face on the carpet. Yeah, she did look really beautiful, mm -hmm. so I'll mm -hmm. give you that. Okay, all right, well, that is what Jocelyn and I think about the red carpet fashion at the 2014 Billboard Music Awards, but now, we want all of you guys to weigh in which fashionista made it on your best and worst dress list. We're excited to hear what you think in the comments below. And to get more fashion coverage from tonight's Billboard Awards, go ahead and subscribe to Clever Style. And to get a better look at Nicki Minaj's head-to-toe red carpet look, go ahead and click the video box right on over there. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.